what, what is driving this social media? And, and the answer is the digital client. Now, you may say that's apparent. It's largely Gen Ys. They only know digital technology. There's something like 77. It's, it's actually 77 going to maybe it's closer to 80 million now in the U.S., the latest statistic. 1.7 billion in, 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 in a global basis going to 3 billion in the next two years, three years. One out of every two. Do your math, folks. 3 billion minus 1.7 billion is another 1.3 billion. Is anybody wondering why Apple is booming? What is the one device these 1.3 billion are going to buy? A smartphone, sure. And to them, this mobility is really, really important. So much so that, I mean, it has some more statistics, and I just, I, they, they boggle my mind. The growth in mobility is about 10% a year in the middle. But the growth in apps, mobile apps, is, is just, it's just astronomical. So if you're playing in the social space as a way of the future of rela customer relationship management and how to prepare for success, and you're working with social, you know, complementing traditional CRM, and you're not mobile enabled, you've made a big mistake. So mobility becomes a critical success factor in the future of customer relationship management and how you prepare for that success. And whether you're selling, or marketing or servicing, if you're not playing in that mobile game, you're not going to win at the end of the day. I have here a couple of examples. They remind me to tell you stories. Kraft Foods, when we devised the CRM strategy and now the social media strategy with their, their very wonderful executive team, we made a point that all reps would be using tablets as a way of assisting in the mobility of adoption for their CRM system, which seamlessly integrates sales and marketing. It's a very interesting story. I put down Zumba because that's just a tremendously fast-growing, extremely fun company that we have the pleasure of working with out of Hallandale, Florida. And I'm sure many of the ladies in this audience, it's 90% women, 10% men in Zumba, know how exciting it can be. There's 14 million of you around the world, and they've understood that if they're not on the apps of those 14 million, there's not a chance in heck they're going to be around. The third thought I want and final thought I want to share with you is this concept of gamification. Now, for some of you that were in the previous session, they talked a little bit about uh, the, the, the various boards that people were using for, to motivate salespeople. That's a piece of gamification. But, but here's where gamification is really beginning to take off. All the social communities use gamification polls, ratings, fun games, different things, to drive traffic and keep people excited. We're using gamification inside CRM applications to drive adoption. So if you buy Salesforce, there's an app that can go on and you play a game to have people learn to use Salesforce effectively. You're all aware of Farmville and some of the games that are being played. We're working one of the largest hotel chains in the world to create a game that will allow people like you and me, by the way, that have lots of points to burn, that Marriott doesn't necessarily, uh, that this company doesn't want you to use. And we may be able to use those points by traveling around the world and figuring out what are some cool sites to visit and play a game and learn the world and visit the Marriott sites and maybe use some of your points to stay at a Marriott. We're using gamification in contact centers. Avanade is a very interesting application where they've integrated gamification into the customer service rep console. And again, they play against each other. So the three thoughts, again, not public or private, but both. I think that's very important. I think in the previous slide, this whole issue of mobility and the need to make sure that we are preparing for the mobile world and we are preparing for the gamification. Closing comments. Every organization must have in place today an integrated social CRM strategy. It has to leverage both public and private communities to drive that long-term satisfaction, loyalty, and advocacy. That one I'm sure of. Mobility and gamification must be a part of that strategy. That's the case in about 20% of all strategies that I've had the pleasure of working with. So there's a, a lot of room for growth there. Business value must be 
at the core of every one of these social CRM strategies, not as an afterthought, but as the way we do business. So with all of the customers we have the pleasure of working with, I wouldn't even consider a social investment until I knew the payback over what time and I measured it quarterly and I set up those metrics. And last but not least, it's not a technology game. You know, you go out on the floor, this is a marvelous conference, I'm very honored to be here, and you see some pretty cool technology. But the technology doesn't deliver results. It's people that deliver results. And if people haven't bought into this stuff, you're not getting results. And if people have bought into it, you know, the processes to drive the appropriate behavior, you're not getting results. So it's about putting into place processes, spending the time, money, and effort to get the people to buy into it, and then using technology as a tool to drive efficiency into those processes that people have bought into.